Hey you guys, welcome to this week's video. First of all, I just want to say that it has been a while since I've uploaded. I think it's been like two weeks. Um, the past like two weeks has been really rough on me in terms of work and college and just trying to balance the two together. Anyways, I hope you guys are excited for this new video. I'm going to be doing my what's on my iPhone. I just got the iPhone 7 yesterday. It was totally like last minute thing. But yeah, let's just get started with the video. So this is my lock screen. I actually have had this photo for a while. I ha probably had it in one of my past iPhone videos, but I will post it on Twitter if you guys want, so you'll find it there. On the top row, I just have my calendar and I put things like my work schedule, my class schedules and like finals and stuff. I use my bullet journal for most of my scheduling and things, so I just put my work schedule in here so it reminds me and I don't forget. And then I have Google Photos, which is what I use to back up the photos on my iPhone to my Google account instead of using my storage on my iPhone. Then I have the Photos app and it's pretty typical. And then I have Voice Memos, which I don't really use. Then I have the Health app and I kind of use this to track my steps. I don't know how accurate it is, but it's fun to look at. at. Um, then I have my Canon camera connect and this is what I use to connect my Canon G7X if I want to get a photo from there and I don't have access to my computer. It's Wi-Fi enabled so I can just get them through there. Um, then I have un um, un um. Um, I use this to organize my Instagram feed. It's really, really cool. I love this app. Then I have dream days and I use this to track some of my events that I want to keep track of. I'm going to see Kehlani tomorrow so that's really exciting and I'm seeing Cashmere Cat the next weekend, um, Logic's new album, Paramore's new album, um, Halsey's new album, Orphan Black season 5, Warp Tour 2017, um, Lord's new album, and Bummer Shoot 2017. And I saw Dead Mouse last weekend and I saw Ariana Grande so yeah and I color coordinate my phone so the first folder is the red folder and the first thing that we have is canvas and if you guys are in college you know what this is um, so yeah the next thing that I have is a target cartwheel and I use this to get coupons and stuff from Target it sounds really like momish but um, I have a Target red card, it's the debit card, so when I use the coupon and the red card together, it kind of saves me a lot of money, but there's like a bunch of categories and stuff that you can find coupons in, and you can add it to your cart, and then you'll have all these coupons that you can use at the time of purchase, and then you just go to your checkout, and then you'll scan the barcode at checkout. So, really cool. Definitely recommend it if you go to Target and you're a Target addict like me. Then you have Yelp, and I love Yelp. I use it to like look at restaurants and stuff that I want to go to, and like their food and menu, and like coffee shops and things like that. So especially when I go to Seattle, but yeah. Then I have YouTube, typical, and then I have YouTube Studio, and it's really handy, especially if you are a YouTuber and it's easy to reply to comments and look at your stats and everything through this app. So that's really nice. And then you have Gmail, which is what I use for my email primarily, um, BECU, which is my bank, and then Backstage, which is like a social media platform. It's like Twitter and Instagram, but for like music artists, and you can like talk to other people that also listen to music. It's kind of lame. Whatever. I did it when I was trying to win meet and greet tickets for Ariana, but I didn't win, but I haven't used it in a while, but it's kind of fun to look at sometimes. And then you have Pinterest, and this is what I use for, like, a mood board or, like, inspiration. Um, it's I go in here when I'm bored and I need inspiration, but here's my Pinterest if you guys are interested. In the orange slash yellow folder, the first thing that I have is notes and I use notes probably on a daily basis to put like reminders, to-do lists, things like that um, that aren't really necessary to go in my bullet journal. 
Then I have Snapchat, so if you guys want to add me on Snapchat, go ahead and scan this, and you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah, that thing's really creepy. So, yeah. Then we have Airbnb, and if you guys don't know what Airbnb is, it's like where it's like hotel reservations but like they're more private and you can book other people's like apartments and stuff for like as if you're doing a hotel it's kind of weird to explain and you can do like other things like events and so yeah you just type your location how many people are staying with you and i think the days that you want to stay um then we've got nico at sume i think that's how you pronounce it it's a game that I haven't played in forever but you basically have these like cats come into your yard in your house and you feed them there's literally no point to it but it's so cute anyways um then we have SoundCloud and I use SoundCloud if I want to try and find new music usually it's for YouTube it's usually where I find all of my tunes and stuff that I use for my videos so that's my SoundCloud if you guys are interested I don't really keep up to date with it I'm more of a Spotify person but yeah and then the next app is called Sleep Cycle, and this is what I use to set my alarms and everything instead of the typical alarm app. And what it does is it wakes you in between the times that you set it within like a 20 minute, 30 minute, or 40 minute period. You can like change it. And it also tracks how long you sleep, like from the time that you set the alarm to the time that you um, set it, and then it like tracks your movement and stuff. But I don't know how accurate it is, but it's really useful. Um, then we've got Pantone Studio, it's just an editing app, Maps, Calculator. In the green folder, we just have the Starbucks app because, yeah, I use it to pay whenever I get to Starbucks. It's like so much faster and it's so much easier. Then we have Spotify, and I use Spotify literally on a daily basis. Oh, looks like my brother's listening to Spotify right now. Me and him share a Spotify account, but it is my account. So, yeah. I have, like, a bunch of playlists in here that I listen to. Um, whenever I do my music playlist videos, it's usually going to be in the currently playlist, but I have playlists for everything else, too. And then we have Find My iPhone, FaceTime, Messages, Phone, Bitmoji, so I can use it, like, on Snapchat. And then I have Plant Nanny, which is this, like, water tracker app. And basically, you have this plant, and every time you drink water, you feed or water the plant, and the plant grows into, like, a bigger plant. It's really cute. So, and if you don't water your plant, then you die, and your plant dies. So, yeah. It's a really cute app, um, and it reminds you every, like, so often to drink water. And then I have Panera Bread because I don't like talking to people at Panera Bread. So I just like order it on my phone and then I either pick it up or they just bring it to my table. In the blue folder, I have Facebook Messenger because I don't use my Facebook really anymore. Um, so I have Facebook Messenger on there at least. So if anyone like messages me, it's usually people from work that are like trying to get shift, shifts covered and everything. So I have that on there. And then you have Twitter. This is my Twitter if you guys want to follow me. Um, I've been really annoying lately because all of this new music has been coming out and it's all I've been talking about. But yeah. And then you have the weather app. And um, I'm going to Seattle tomorrow. So I'm just trying to plan accordingly. Then you have Safari, the App Store, Ticketmaster, which I don't really I don't really use the app. I usually use my laptop for any ticket buying, but then you have Parcel Track and I love Parcel Track. So when you order like a bunch of stuff online, sometimes they're like from different carriers like UPS, USPS, FedEx, and it's kind of annoying to like go back and forth and like go on different websites and check like where your packages are. So what Parcel Track does is that you can add the tracking number and like the carrier onto the app and then you can just basically track stuff however much you want and all at the same place it's really nice um then you have outlook which is what i use it's for my school email amazon bands in town and bands in town basically notifies me if anyone in my music library is touring it just like lets me know when they're going on tour um, and then you have Facetune, which is what I use to whiten images for Instagram or whatever. 
and then I've got the Bumbershoot app, which I still have downloaded from a while ago, but I use it to um, keep track of set times and everything during the time. Um, then you've got Kaiser Permanent Washington. This is my doctor provider thing. Yeah, so I can like make appointments, cancel appointments, and anything through this app, so that's really nice. And then I've got Venmo, and Venmo is basically like a digital wallet, and you, if you like owe someone money, you can pay them real quick. It's really convenient. I love Venmo. And then I've got AXS, which is like a Ticketmaster kind of um, website where you can buy tickets and stuff to shows. In the purple folder, I've got Famebit, which is what I use for sponsorships and things like that. I use a few other ones too, but Famebit is what I usually use, and they have an app, so sometimes I like to scroll through. And then I've got Quizlet, which I use to study my flashcard flashcards. If I'm not near my computer, just if I'm in bed, honestly, but and I can't sleep, I'll use Quizlet on my phone to study a little bit. And then I've got Lyft, which I don't really use. I use it when I go to Bumbershoot Festival because when you buy a wristband, they like give you a Lyft code to use during the weekend and like for a bunch of free rides to and from the festival. So that's why you have Lyft on there. In the gray folder, silver folder, whatever, I've got camera contact settings and photo vault it's like google photos but it's like more saved into the app and not through your google account so yeah then i have the clock my wallet which i have like my debit card and stuff in and then i've got gopro capture it acts as a display basically for the, your gopro um my gopro doesn't have the display on it so that's what i use to kind of see the viewfinder and then I have Uber, which I use when I'm in Seattle, like, if I drive to Seattle and I park in a parking lot, like, I don't want to move my car, I don't want to, like, pay for another parking lot or anything, so I'll just Uber, um, if I need to go anywhere else in Seattle, it's too far of a walk. Then I have Postmates, which I don't really use regularly because they don't deliver in my area, but if I go to Seattle and I'm staying in Seattle, I'll use Postmates. On this side of the screen, I don't really know what's going on, it was some of Apple's, like, default apps or whatever and I don't know what's going on so it's just kind of waiting we'll see what happens I don't know down here I've got VSEO cam and I use this primarily to edit all of my photos so yeah then I have Instagram if you guys want to follow me And then I've got music, which I don't really use, but I've got some of my music in here. I use Spotify mostly, but yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, please let me know if you guys enjoyed it by leaving this video a like. And please comment anything that you guys would like to see from me in the upcoming weeks. Um, I have a few things planned out, so... I'm really excited for that. Hopefully I can, you know, keep up with my whole uploading schedule. I've just been really, like, tired for the past, like, whatever. It's just been really weird the past few weeks. But, yeah, um, so, I haven't filmed the video in so long I forgot what I'm going to say. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!